Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here, and welcome back to another Unity C Sharp Idle Game tutorial video. This is episode 41, and today we're going to be building our project for the very first time. So this video can be pretty much doing, uh, done at any point. Uh, we're going to be doing this for Android only. I really don't feel like getting into the iOS portion because A, it's complicated. B, I don't have my Mac with me, and that's where I usually build my iOS. But I will do, I'll do Android and standalone for Windows, okay? So, uh... First off, this is going to be probably one of my last videos, unfortunately, for this series, just because I'm running out of, like, solid ideas, because I have, like, tool tips on the list, but I was like, well, for, tool tips are kind of difficult for mobile games, but I feel like I could just do that in a separate series on its own, rather than add it to this, because I feel like that's just kind of silly, because it's not really, like, for only for idle games, you know? So, I'll probably do, of course, I'm going to I'm never going to stop uploading videos. I promise that. It's just the series is kind of kind of halt, I guess, unless someone brings up an amazing idea. So if you have any ideas, just let me know in the comments below and I will think about it, okay? And after this, I'm just going to be continuing doing like different types of genre games. Like right now I'm doing the Anti-Matter Dimension series. Uh in my future, I'm going to do like merge games, uh adult, or adventure communists, uh I'm gonna expand the cap uh, or adventure capitalist. I'm gonna expand the clicker hero series. I really need to, and so on. So I'll I have a list of stuff to do. I've, I've explained it in another video before. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those notifications. Every single subscriber means a lot to me, and it will help me uh, reach more goals to make more videos for you guys. All right, and so let's uh, let's get started. So let's head to file, build settings. Okay, so this is right where we will manage our our building phase. Now, if you haven't installed some of these things, let me show you how to do that. And you want to do this first. So you want to go to installs here, uh, click the three dots, add modules, and make sure you have Android build support and built both uh, Android SDK and NDK and the Open JDK. Um, if you want to figure it out, iOS build support. Um, Max build support mono, I don't recommend, I, that's kind of a mistake, because I'd rather build IL2CPP, so people can't, like, get into your files and find out what your scripts do, so that's not very safe, that's what, um, this is good for. So, and then WebGL build support, I'm not going to show you how to build WebGL, because just various reasons, it's dying, first of all. And Windows build support IL2CPP, okay, so make sure you have all those. And really, the main two you need is Android and Windows. I mean, it depends where you're going to install it, okay? So once you have those installed, you'll need to restart Unity. You might even as well like quit out of it first, okay? So let's start with PC. So here's our settings right here. Our target platform is Windows, and we're building for uh, 86, uh, 64, 64-bit 64 architecture. And let's head to our player settings. So you're going to see like a whole bunch of stuff here, okay? Now you don't need to do absolutely everything, okay? So now, company name, choose a company name. Uh, I can just do Cryptograms. Now, where, what, how is this relevant? Now it's relevant because it actually depends on where you save your thing. So before it was default company, and that's where my, uh, let's see, my idle tutorial series. This is where everything was being saved originally. So after I change this company name, things will move, okay? to my Cryptograms folder, and that will be in here. And now you can't see it yet because we haven't actually ran the game yet. And we have the game right here, the product name, the version. You want to increase this every time you release an update. Okay, so icon. Now, I don't have any icons right now, and I don't want to make any, but you're, all you need to do is just uh, set a default icon right here. Okay, it could just be any PNG. And you know, I don't. I don't think I've ever done this. I've never touched the icon drop down. Uh, resolution and presentation. We want it to be. Uh, it could be whatever you want. It could be windowed. It could be a full screen window. Um, maximize window or borderless window. But I choose windowed. Okay. And you can add a full screen setting in your in your app. And if you want to see a tutorial on that, let me know in the comments below. And let's just say the default is 1920 by 1080, okay? And we want to make this resizable too. So macro tenos support runs in background. That's very important because if you want to, let's say, go alt tab to Chrome, you know, it's not going to progress without unless this uh, run in backgrounds on, okay? 
Uh, use player log. Uh, you can turn that off. This is really good for testing. So you can see like the console log that you see in Unity, but in like a file, which is where the save would be. And um, I'm turning it off because player logs can get pretty big, but that's up to you. So resizable window, definitely we want a resizable window. And actually this is a, a mobile game format. So I want to change this resolution to something like 640 by 1136. Okay. Now, if you've been doing this in a, in a, in a 19 or a 1080p format, perfect. Okay. So just make sure you have the resolution you like. Okay. Uh, visible in background. I don't mess with that. Allow full screen switch. Uh, that's basically where you can, uh, make it go full screen. Um, I don't mess with any of these settings. Uh, supported aspect ratios. Okay. So what is the aspect ratio for this? So we do 1640 divided by 1136. And we get this right here. Okay. Now, if we do 9 by 16, we get that uh, 0.56, which is the same thing as this. So our supported uh, aspect ratio for this game is 16 by 9. Okay. So we can just uh, keep others and 16 by 9 on. Now, again, this really depends on how you set up your game. Uh, splash image. I never adjust this. You can add your own logo if you like. Also, this is cutting off the screen. Sorry. But yeah, so you just choose an image right here. Um, I never, I've never like really messed with this. You can change the color of the splash image too. So we can make it like a, a red if you wanted to. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I just leave it as is. Other settings. And unfortunately, you can't get rid of the, the splash image unless you have the Pro Edition, which costs money. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, honestly. If you add your logo, it's okay. Um... Let's see. Now, I leave these settings as is. Okay, so Mac App Store options, uh, your bundle identifier. Now, if you're building this for a Mac, you can make sure you do something like Crypto Grounds. Or obviously, choose your own name, please. Idle tutorial game or something like this. So this is the format of the bundle ID. Now, we're not building for Mac, so we don't have to worry about this. Okay, and every time you build, for no matter how small the update or how big it is, you want to increment this build by one. Okay, because that's just how the the version control works for any device. Okay, so if you're updating with the same build number, it's not going to let you update, or if it's less, it won't let you update. It's got to be greater than. Okay, it's the thing that always increments. All right, and category. I have never touched a category before. Um, so I'm going to ignore that. Scripting backend. So we want to change from Mono to IL2CPP. And we want to change our app compatibility, uh, API compatibility level to net 4.x. And we should have done that at the beginning of the project. I just kind of forgot that it existed, but make sure you change that. Okay. Um, C++, I uh, release, I guess. I, I don't remember changing this. Leave all these settings as is. Manage stripping level. We want to set this to high, okay? And honestly, this is this really depends on how severe you want the when it builds on how it wants. It, I don't know the correct word. I want to say scrambles, but it's not really scrambling. So basically, when on building, it compiles your entire game into a bunch of folders and files and stuff. And basically. Without it, we would be able to like, access our scripts pretty easily by reverse. Um, uh, we can just, people can just somehow find your scripts, right? So the higher this is, the better, but the, also the longer and probably the bigger the project is, okay? But this also means that your code is safe, which is the nice thing, okay? So people can't steal your code. So I'm personally set this to high. So if you want to do more research on it, you can find it on the Unity um you can find it on Unity's website. Uh, I leave this. Stack trace. Okay, so I keep this as script only. This also changes your settings for what kind of errors you get in here. If you do full, uh, the errors you get are the stack trace are pretty lengthy. Sometimes they can be very useful. Sometimes they they're okay. Um, but personally, I do script only. So just leave as is. XR settings, I yeah, we don't need to touch that. 
Okay. Anyways, we should be able to build for PC now. So we'll just hit build. And I'm going to put this in my builds folder. You can put it wherever you want. And I'm just going to create a new folder called idle tutorial build 0.1. I think this is version 0.1. <coughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Now we just wait. Okay, so we have experienced our first error. So when building, you will get lots of errors, okay? So if you get errors, please don't spam my comments because 100% or 90% of the time, it's going to be a completely different error. But here, it says the type na or namespace package manager does not exist in namespace unity editor. Okay, so let's check this out. So in our case, it's a script-related editor. And sometimes we won't see this on play, and this will actually only show up when you are building your project, which is kind of funny, but it happens. So sometimes I get, t okay, I've gotten at least hundreds of errors when building and it's beyond stressful, I, I, I will admit. And there are some times where I just want to give up the entire game just because I can't build it. But don't, just do your research online. There will be a solution on there. Just pretty much just copy like the first like few lines of this error or something like I don't know, something like this, and search it on Google, and there'll be something to help you out. In most cases, I probably won't be able to help you because it's just simply trial and error, okay? So, yeah, please don't spam my comments because most of the time I just can't help you. And now let's wait for a writer to load so we can see what this error is. Okay, so we have this Unity Editor Package Manager dot request. Now, I don't remember adding this at all, but once writer does its thing we will see i don't even think this is used so i'm just gonna safely delete this because i personally don't know where this came from so i'm just gonna get rid of it save it and let's try again and i guess it didn't affect our script initially so we'll see okay so make sure you double check your settings again and let's build again we'll see if we get anything this time and so where's my tutorial folder all right, so we got yet another error, sadly. Uh, see, you just get like random errors like these, like failed running, pr uh, failed to run this. Okay, I remember I've had this issue in the past. And I just couldn't figure it out. <laughs> uh, okay, let me see. You'll probably get something like this. Just random errors. You have no idea what it means. So if that's the case. You just search it up. Okay, so finally this took freaking forever, but I, I honestly had issues building with IL, um, IL2CPP, also which stands for, um, I think it's Intermediate Language 2 C++, which is CPP, okay? So I switched my scripting backend to Mono. Uh, I don't want to use Mono, but it's I've tried so many times to get IL2CPP to work. I've copied all my exact settings for my other project, my main Crypto Clickers project. It just wouldn't work. I just got this same crappy error that tells me nothing, and I it, I get the exact the exact same thing for my Mac OS build. I I don't know. So if you get errors like that, just try doing Mono. I mean, it sucks, but it's just the way it is. I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. All right, so anyways, in your folder, you should see this right here. Now, when you're uploading it to something like Cartridge, you just uh, make sure you take all this and archive it as a zip. So like if you use 7-zip, you can do add to archive and convert to a zip file. But otherwise, we can just run our application here, our idle game tutorial series. Okay, so let's run it. Also, your antivirus might, might uh, get mad at you. So if that's the case, then it's okay. All right, cool. So our game has loaded. Now we can resize it however you want to. Obviously, it's not going to look that good just because of how our formatting is. But And it's meant to be a, a mobile game. Yeah, see, this kind of turned out terrible. <laughs> it's okay. And you see, we have the watch ad. Obviously, it's not doing anything. But okay, but otherwise we can semi play the game yeah we need to work on our anchors so if you if your game looks bad like this you just need to work on your anchors but yeah everything works uh, works okay <laughs> also it looks like i forgot to put this back in some folder um 
Bailey. Uh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, things look really weird. Wow, I lost my button here. It's like all the way up there. <laughs> all right. But yeah, that's for you to play with and experiment. If you have any other issues, I would highly suggest you using uh, Google because I'm honestly no master at building this. So, okay, so there's Windows. Let's hop into... Actually, you know what? Let's do Android a different video because of how how annoying this video was. So next video will be Android building. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video and I hopefully it all worked for you. If IL2CPP worked for you, great for you. Hopefully it did. If it didn't, then give Mono a shot, okay? It's not like what we want, but it, it'll work for now, okay? Anyways, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on those notifications to get notified for future videos. Comment your feedback, suggestions, all that good stuff below. Check out my Patreon in the link in the description below if you want to support me or join my channel membership. And that's also a good way of supporting me. Otherwise, subscribing and liking, that will do everything for me. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and peace.